after cleansing, your next step is to tone. We always use a toner with cotton wool. However, if you have normal skin, water, pure water, purified water is your toner. If you don't have normal skin and you have a condition, dry skin, oily skin, then it's best you get a product suited for your skin type. So for pimples and acne, you can use the purifying freshener, which is one of our mildest toners. When you think toning, most people connect toning with bleaching. Our toners in the Forever Clear range or professionally toners that are used in the skincare regime are used to take off residual products from the cleansers that you use and help to balance the pH of the skin. So you use your purifying freshener if you have um, acne or pimples on your skin. For very severe acne and excessive oils, then I'd like to introduce to you the exfoliating toner by Forever Clear. Now this product has salicylic acid in there. It also has alcohol in there as an estrogen to help kill the bacteria that cause acne and also to shrink the pores and for the skin to produce much less oil. So it helps to balance the skin. So I'd like to introduce exfoliating toner. For sensitive skin, still with acne, you want to use a product that does not contain as high percentage of alcohol as the other products that I have recommended. You want to use the blemish control toner, which has the miracle ingredient, which hazel, perfect for controlling acne and pimples and toning the skin to leave it well balanced. So we've done step one, cleanse, step two, tone, and you're using your toners with cotton wool also in a circular outward motion. When you use sponge or other products to wash your face, you end up taking off or stripping off too much of your skin. So be gentle with your skin. You could use a facial sponge, not your bath sponge. You can use your hands or you can use a face towel, but be careful when you use a face towel to ensure that it's dried out properly so that it doesn't become another cause for skin breakouts.